the first thing you do is you register on all the available portals so that you can be alerted as to when something comes on the market. I think when you know exactly what you're looking for, which sometimes comes after doing some searching, then you try to find the agents, the agencies and the streets that you need to focus on. You make sure that uh, you encourage, enable the right agents to think of you and act for you. Uh, personally, as an agent, I will always retain because I think that uh, if you retain someone to act on your behalf, whatever it costs you, you will save in the hassle and in the price that you you pay ultimately. If you really, really know which building you want to be in or if you really, really know what street you want to be in, then just write a handwritten note, tell them the story and put it through the door. The black and white method is obviously you need to contact agents and keep contacting them, keep phoning them. Don't wait for the agent to phone you. By phoning them, the person could be going to see the property that you will end up buying the following day, but you, you'll know, you won't know about it unless you phone the agent. And then when the agent's seen it, he could be phoning a number of people. So get ahead of the queue, whatever you do. Put yourself on obviously on all the main portals, right? Move, Zoopla, and on the market.com. Know what you're looking for. Be as specific as you can with your inquiry. Be clear about your budget. Be clear about how much you have to borrow. And be available to your agent and not avoid your agent. Tips on searching for property require you to just be a bit more savvy about what's going on there. Do look at all the property portals that are available to you. Uh, they're free, so why wouldn't you? Um, carry out your research. Get friendly with agents, you know, and, and if you are at a bit of a loss, then employ an agent to work for you. I and mean, it can actually save you money in the long term. They are the ones that know the area as well. They know the, the right houses and the right streets, the wrong houses and the right streets, um, you know, where the tube line runs in some places that you wouldn't know about. So good research um, and consider working with an agent. Do your due diligence on agents first. Make sure that you have one that is very active. Contact him, meet him, go to him, be on top of him, <laughs> call them all the time so they can source you and give you the best information they have. The agents will know about the properties before they officially or properly or openly come into the market. There is always like a gray area, a gray period of time. And, you know, if you are in their radar, you'll get access to that property first. Um, it is an interesting topic because um, it fluctuates as the market goes along. At times, um, there are people who you pay to help you to search and they may be able to winkle out properties that others uh, that you don't see publicly and that others may not be able to get access to. But other times when there's more coming onto the market, more stock coming onto the market, that, lead, that need is lessened um, because people are quicker to get out to publicly market a property if they, if they want to get out quickly. There is a whole off-market scenario, uh, people wanting to keep their affairs private. That's very much at the top end, I would suggest. Um, but if you're just an ordinary person looking for an ordinary home, by all means, uh, retain a search agent, but um, you don't necessarily absolutely have to. I think it sort of depends where you're positioned in the market. Generally speaking, we would see buyers using estate agents such as myself for their search um, on a non-retained basis. But as I said earlier, you know, we can use the breadth of our relationships and, and cover the whole market. They will have your best interest at heart. It's in their best interest to sell you a property because most people are on commission-based roles. Um, so I would say, you know, you don't need to farm out to the whole market, find a couple of agencies, speak to a few different people, find someone you trust and make sure that they work hard for you. And generally speaking, they will. And if they don't, then find someone else.